Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to show you the plot options, plotting options actually. And let's get started. I have drawn a circuit. This is a simple RLC circuit as you can see. And let me create a file and call it circuits 5.sur. And I am going to rot the circuit in ng-spice. I want to open this with Kate. Or let's open ES coding. Here we have circuit five. But sir, and our circuit is here. I am going to make an AC sweep. Uh, let's call this circuit five. RLC circuit and we have a voltage source N10 AC 1 volt we have a capacitor 1 microfarad we have a inductor and we have a resistor And let's end this. But uh, I already talked about using initial conditions here. One way, another way you, to specify initial condition is this. For example, you type IC and V of N1. Let's make this zero and V of N2. Let me let me make this zero as well. And V of N three. We have made all of the initial conditions, all of the initial volts zero here. So let me open a terminal here and simulate this circuit. And we have the circuit. So I all I have already talked about this AC sweep. Uh, I'm not going to tell them again. So let's make an AC sweep. This is number of per decade. This is start frequency. This is end frequency. This is for decade. And we, what we know is plot, for example, V of N1. And it is, uh, regardless of the frequency, it is voltage always 1 volt. It is peak voltage always 1 volt, regardless of the frequency, because this is the source. So, let's, we are making ACC I would like to mention it again. What we do here, we are changing the frequency and uh, look at these nodes, how they are changing and this is going to be always 1 volt since source voltage, no matter which frequency we use, it is going to be 1 volt because this is the source. VN2 and here we have the voltage on VN2. And here we have volt John and three. This is a band act. Actually, this if we if you use this node, this is a band pass filter, passive band pass filter. So what if I want to uh, plot this and this on the same graph? It is very easy. What I'm going to do and the entry we. And one, 
no, let's plot n1 because it is always one. Let's plot n2. And here we can see the pardon. I just typed. And here we can see the n2 is the blue one and v n3 is the red one and the blue one comes from behind the red one and what if i don't want this black i want to be background i want background to be white and i want those grids to be black i can do that the I can do that like this, set color 0, the color 0 for background, color 1 for the grid, color 2 is the first drawing line, uh, In for this case this is, it is VN3, color 3 is the second one, so let's set color 0 to white and set color 1 to black and set let's plot this let's analyze it plus let's plot a v entry as you can see right now uh, the background is black and grids are background is white and grids are black and let's change this red to blue for example set color to blue and let's plot again and here we can see also we can change it like this RGB and then to that and FF for example uh, it is uh, you know uh, this is an hexadecimal number and FF port 255 in decimal in decimal if you convert ff to decimal it is going to be 255 so let's see and f1 and 34 for example i wonder what this color is and it is actually yellow or green it's something like that and we can set the brush set the line width like this set x brush width let's make this 5 and plot again as you can see it is more bold let's make this 10 and you can see it so you can play with it you can play around with it you can draw what kind of color you want and if I blow n2 for example and the same rod it is blue let's change this blue to red for example set color three to red and as you can see and uh, also uh, you can uh, print the notes notes values for example like this it is saying index for CV and three frequency is changing and the enter is changing according to this uh, every frequency value which we specifies this uh, interval in per, uh, 100 we type 100 in the beginning so we can print this v entry and actually we can't we can uh, 
save this like this one entry.txt and when we look at here we can see the values here and lastly I want to make plot options in in the circuits file so let's come here and type that control and run the circuit and we can type the commands which we which we are typing in uh, here in ng spice here as well it's going to work so let's type set color zero to white set color one to black and set color two to let's make purple purple set color three to not green and set x brush width to 5 and plot v and 3 v and 2 also plot plot v n 3 minus v n 2 actually I can do this here as as well and multiply for that here this AC deck by 100 1 to 100 megahertz let's save this and let's end this control and simulate the circuit and we can see uh, what we type here also happened to happened in ng spice that's it for this video and it makes it this if you watch my previous videos uh, then you know a lot of not a lot of but uh, some some basic subjects in ng spice and you can use it you can use it instead instead of other spice programs which uh, are not open source and which have which has which have licenses it's an open source program thank you for watching me and take care of yourself